Kathleen Singh Moravitz May 5, 1923 to August 8, 2017, was a Canadian mathematician who spent much of her career in the United States. Moravitz's research was mainly in the study of the partial differential equations governing fluid flow, particularly those of mixed type occurring in transonic flow. She was Professor Emerita at the current Institute of Mathematical Sciences at the New York University, where she had also served as director from 1984 to 1988. She was awarded the National Medal of Science in 1998. <laughs> Childhood Moravitz's father, John Lytton Singh, nephew of John Millington Singh, was an Irish mathematician, specialising in the geometry of general relativity. Her mother also studied mathematics for a time. Her uncle was Edward Hutchinson Singh who is credited as the inventor of the near-field scanning optical microscope. Her childhood was split between Ireland and Canada. Both her parents were supportive of her interest in mathematics and science, and it was a woman mathematician, Cecilia Krieger, who had been a family friend for many years who later encouraged Moravitz to pursue a PhD in mathematics. Moravitz said her father was influential in stimulating her interest in mathematics, but he wondered whether her studying mathematics would be wise, suggesting they might fight like the Bernoulli brothers. Topic. Education A graduate of the University of Toronto in 1945, Moravitz received her master's degree in 1946 at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Moravitz got a job at New York University where she edited Supersonic Flow and Shock Waves by Richard Current and Kurt Otto Friedrichs. She earned her Ph.D. in 1951 at New York University, with a thesis on the stability of a spherical implosion, under the supervision of Kurt Otto Friedrichs. Her thesis was entitled Contracting Spherical Shocks Treated by a Perturbation Method Topic. Career After earning her doctorate, Moravitz spent a year as a research associate at MIT before returning to work as a research associate at the current Institute of Mathematical Sciences at NYU, for five more years. During this time she had no teaching requirements and could focus purely on research. She published work on a variety of topics in applied mathematics including viscosity, compressible fluids and transonic flows. Even if an aircraft remains subsonic, the air flowing around the wing can reach supersonic velocity. The mix of air at supersonic and subsonic velocity creates shock waves that can slow the airplane. Turning to the mathematics of transonic flow, she showed that specially designed shockless airfoils could not, in fact, prevent shocks. Shocks developed in response to even small perturbations, such as a gust of wind or an imperfection in a wing. This discovery opened up the problem of developing a theory for a flow with shocks. Subsequently, the shocks she predicted mathematically now have been observed in experiments as air flows around the wing of a plane. In 1957, she became an assistant professor at Current. At this point she began to work more closely with her colleagues publishing important joint papers with Peter Lax and Ralph Phillips on the decay of solutions to the wave equation around a star-shaped obstacle. She continued with important solo work on the wave equation and transonic flow around a profile until she was promoted to full professor by 1965. At this point her research expanded to a variety of problems including papers on the Tricomi equation the nonrelativistic wave equation including questions of decay and scattering. Her first doctoral student, Leslie Sibner, was graduated in 1964. In the 1970s she worked on questions of scattering theory and the nonlinear wave equation. She proved what is now known as the Moravitz inequality. She died on August 8, 2017 in New York City. Topic. Honors In 1980 Moravitz won a Lester R. Ford Award. In 1981, she became the first woman to deliver the Gibbs Lecture of the American Mathematical Society, and in 1982 presented an invited address at a meeting of the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics. She received honorary degrees from Eastern Michigan University in 1980, Brown University, and Smith College in 1982, and Princeton in 1990. In 1983 and in 1988, she was selected as a Noether Lecturer. She was named Outstanding Woman Scientist for 1993 by the Association for Women in Science. 
In 1995, she became the second woman elected to the office of President of the American Mathematical Society. In 1998, she was awarded the National Medal of Science. She was the first woman to receive the medal for work in mathematics. In 2004, she received the Leroy P. Steele Prize for Lifetime Achievement. In 2006, she won the George David Birkhoff Prize in Applied Mathematics. In 2012, she became a fellow of the American Mathematical Society. Moravitz was a member of the National Academy of Sciences. She was the first woman to belong to the Applied Mathematics section of the National Academy of Sciences. Topic: <laughs> Publications. Moravitz, Kathleen. The 10th of July 1956. Note on a maximum principle and a uniqueness theorem for an elliptic hyperbolic equation. Proceedings of the Royal Society of London, Series A 236 1204, 141-144. doi, 10.1098, rspa.1956.0119. JSTOR 99873. 1956. On the non-existence of continuous transonic flows past profiles I. Communications on Pure and Applied Mathematics, 9 1, 45-68. doi, 10.1002, cpa.3160090104 The 10th of September 1968. Time decay for the nonlinear Klein-Gordon equation. Proceedings of the Royal Society of London, Series A 306 1486, 291-296. doi, 10.1098, rspa.1968.0151. JSTOR 2416107. 1972. On the modes of decay for the wave equation in the exterior of a reflecting body. Proceedings of the Royal Irish Academy, Section A 72-113-120. JSTOR 20488719. 1979. Nonlinear Conservation Equations. The American Mathematical Monthly. 86 doi, 102307 2320747. JSTOR 2320747. 1978. Geometrical Optics and the Singing of Whales. The American Mathematical Monthly. 85 7, 548-554. Doi 10.2307/2320862. JSTOR 2320862. 1982. The mathematical approach to the sonic barrier. Bulletin of the American Mathematical Society, NS 62, 127-145. Doi 10.1090 per seconds 0273 0979 1982 14965 5. Mr. 0640941. Moravitz, Kathleen, Kriegsman, Gregory A. August 1983. The Calculations of an Inverse Potential Problem. Siam Journal on Applied Mathematics. 43 4, 844 854. Doi 10.1137/0143055. JSTOR 2101366. Bayless, Alvin, Lee, Yanyan, Moravitz, Kathleen. April 1989. Scattering by a potential using hyperbolic methods. Mathematics of Computation. 52, 186, 321 to 338. Doi 10.2307/2008470. JSTOR 2008470. November 1992. Giants. The American Mathematical Monthly. 99 9, 819 to 828. Doi 10.2307/2324117. JSTOR 2324117 Topic 
Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Moravitz lived in Greenwich Village with her husband Herbert Moravitz, a polymer chemist. They had four children, eight grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. Their children are Pagin Rubinstein, John, Lita Jeck, and Nancy Moravitz a professor at New York University School of Law who manages its immigrant rights clinic. Upon being honored by the National Organization for Women for successfully combining career and family, Moravitz quipped. Maybe I became a mathematician because I was so crummy at housework." She said her current non-mathematical interests are, "...grandchildren and sailing." References This article incorporates material from Kathleen Moravitz on PlanetMath, which is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike license. Gina Bari Kalata, the 12th of October 1979. Kathleen Moravitz, The Mathematics of Waves. Science, 206, 4415, 206 to 207. DOI 10.1126/science.206.4415.206. JSTOR 1749436. Topic: Notes. Topic. External links Sormani, Christina August 2018. The Mathematics of Kathleen Singh Moravitz. PDF. Notices of the American Mathematical Society. 65 7, 764-778.